Music opening round here at the Battle at the Villages in front of a packed audience here at the Villages High School. Let's take a look at the top 10 plays. We start things off at number 10 was our first game of the night. Rainey from New Jersey taking on Sickles High School out of Tampa, Florida. Brian Antoine gets a huge block on Taj Lane. says, not in my house you don't. Second quarter, Scotty Lewis puts up the iron fist on Lane, but Sickles gets the last lap winning 63 to 53. Moving on to number 9, Oviedo taking on the Villages. First quarter action, Ivan Smith draining a fadeaway three with a nice assist from Josh Charlery. Number eight, Trey Mann from the Villages High School puts a nasty crossover on Devon Knob and drains the three one more time. That crossover, nasty. Look at him go as Trey Mann hitting the three and puts the Villages up on top of Oviedo. Moving on, number seven, Miles McBride from Archbishop Muller steals the pass and puts down a big jam. Take one more though, look at that, gets up one-handed. Moving on, number six, Chris Bogle from Cardinal Gibbons gets the assist from Ricardo Jackson, he goes up with a two-handed dunk. Although Cardinal Gibbons lost the game to New Mission. Moving on, number five, Archbishop stepping at Jordan Means on the breakaway, and all six, three of them gets up in the air for the two-handed jam, puts it down. Number four, Ivan Smith puts up a shot that's no good. Josh Charlery gets the rebound, but Montez Leith gets the massive rejection. And number three, Ryan Antoine hits a pair of dunks for Rainey. First one goes up one-handed, and the second one, we'll take a look at it right now, on Sickles' defense with the two-handed put down. Down. Check that out, gets massive airtime there. Number two, Terry Ivory, time winding down at the end of the first quarter, hits a spin move and nails the free throw line jumper, but it gets even better because our number one play of the opening round tie game with nine seconds left. Trey Man dribbles through the defense, has his legs taken up from under him, and somehow is going to be able to make this layup. Look at this, dribbles through a pair of defenders, puts the ball up, and makes the jumper, but in celebrating, five seconds to go. Nobody at the line for the Villages. Trey Mann able to secure the rebound and secures the win for the Villages High School. They go on to win the game. We'll have the top 10 championship plays coming to you on New Year's Day. For more information, make sure to like the Battle at the Villages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Battle Villages. We'll see you next time.